In this video tutorial series on interfacing the drone cell to your computer, we'll be using the following hardware setup. The drone cell is firmly in place inside the breadboard with the antenna connected as well as having a SIM card inside. The RX and TX pins of the drone cell are connected to the FT232, a USB to TTL serial device. The FT232 appears as a serial port on your computer, which allows us to talk to the drone cell as we would over any normal serial port. The FT232 also shares a ground connection with the drone cell, which is necessary for proper operation. A 12 volt battery powers the drone cell, though any battery between 5 volt or 16 volt would work. On the computer, we'll be using HyperTerminal, a Windows serial communication program. On Linux or uh, Mac, you can use either Minicom or Zterm, which are hyperterminal equivalents. So we have our drone cell all hooked up, set up here. Power going to the drone cell, communications going to the drone cell, as well as an antenna for use. And now we can open up our hyperterminal. To open up hyperterminal, all you do is go to Start, All Programs. Accessories, Communications, Hyperterminal. We're just going to name it anything. The name doesn't matter. It's COM6. The settings are as follows. 115,200 bits per second and no hardware flow control. Hit OK. Now we're listening on the serial communication. So now that we're listening, what we could do is power on the drone cell and see its response. Power it on, supply power first. As you can see, the power LED went on. The red LED is the power LED. And to turn it on, we're just going to hold down this push button. So I'm holding down on the push button. One, two. And as you can see, the yellow status LED is flashing, signaling network activity. So right now it's flashing pretty frequently which means it hasn't found network yet but now it's flashing pretty wide apart and as we can see the response was ready to so see fun one, see fun ready, call ready and what this means is functionality is one, see fun one, see pin ready is the sim card is ready and call ready and right now we can actually talk to the drone cell so we can do the standard command to check if it works I could just type in AT and then hit enter. And as you can see, AT, OK. OK is the standard response for AT. Uh, we can do some more responses too and commands. We can find out the number of the SIM card. For example, it says C pin ready, meaning there's a SIM card inside. So we can do AT plus CIMI -I and then hit enter and we get our SIM number right over here. So it's really that easy to talk to the drone cell. Now we're ready to make phone calls, receive phone calls, as well as make and receive text messages, even communicate over the internet. So watch the other videos and you'll learn how to do all of those, call, text, and web, all with the drone cell.